This morning we are getting on planting the apple seedlings finally. So we've been through the whole process from pollinating the blossoms, collecting the seeds, growing the seeds out, grafting the seeds onto rootstocks, and now they're ready to go in the final um, bed space to go to fruit in the next four plus years. So I've been preparing beds for a few weeks now. Um, fortunately, I had some help. Uh, Zach came and helped a couple times and he brought his friend Devin and they helped a bunch with uh, terracing this hillside because I decided to go down the hillside instead of up onto this flat that I was kind of saving for other purposes. But boy, it has been a lot of work. Um, had to move tons and tons of dirt. Fortunately, I have a little tractor here and that was a huge help otherwise I probably would not have finished and I've only done two of those and I still have one to finish. I can get most of the trees in now in the first two beds and they're pretty much ready to plant so I'm going to get these sorted today and then put in the ground. What I'm doing with these is I'm going to sort them out by type, right, by um, which cross they are because I like to plant them in groups and I also like to plant them in sequence. So each one has an arbitrarily assigned number, like one, two, three, four, five, um, along with the rest of the information. And that's the number that allows me to keep track of them. Wixen crossed with Sweet 16 in 2015, number one, and then they'll be the same thing, but number two and number three. And I like to plant those in order as well. So if the tag is lost, I can be like, okay, there's one, two, this one's missing a tag, then there's four or five, so I know that one's gonna be number three. That's what we're doing today. Um, mostly I just wanna get these in the ground ASAP. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, and so it's good timing. If it stays cloudy for a week, that would be great. I would love that, because it'd give the plants time to get established. So you probably can't see, but a lot of these have shoots already growing out. Um, that's dangerous if the roots aren't developed yet, and I don't know what's going on with the roots down here until I dump them out. If the top growth is way ahead of the roots, then as the leaves come out like this, they'll start you know, transpiring moisture into the atmosphere and sucking the scion dry. When that happens, we need to have the graft healed already and have some roots, at least enough roots that are you know, taking up some water and feeding moisture up into the, the tree. These grafts have been healing ever since I grafted them, what was it, like two or three weeks ago when I did that? And so my guess is that they're already starting to transmit water and nutrients up into the scions or they're very close. But I'm hoping that in those last two or three weeks, I've started to get some root growth down in here in this um, medium, which is just like kind of rot rotten leaves and stuff from the forest. Now when I'm sorting these out, I wanna be careful with both the roots and the, the grafts but it's looking good. We definitely have some new root growth here. Yeah, they look healthy. They look healthy and they look good. Sweet 16, Pink Parfait. Sweet 16, King David. Maple Wixen. See the new, new white roots right here? One, two, three, four, one, two, one there. Looking good. Yeah, so I gotta sort all these like that, and then I have some more scions in the fridge that I haven't grafted yet. Um, by the way, I can also see a lot of these little dots on the stem are um, root tissue. So if those stay wet, they'll actually be taking up water, which is good, but they can also grow into roots, which they probably will. Grenadine chestnut crab, that's a weird cross to make. They're completely different apples. So hopefully you can see those white fleshy looking dots. Those are new roots coming out. And you can also see these little white um, new rootlets. Can you see those? Right there. And those occur, you know, here and there up and down the stem. They're just getting started, but they're gonna grow very rapidly. And that means that, you know, they're gonna be able to take up water and nutrients right now, just from that tissue and those short little roots. So between that, the warm weather we've been having, and you know my confidence in the fact that that has you know, partially healed up these grafts, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna do just fine, even without shade, but I'll probably still try to use some shade as I think it's necessary.
Okay, uh, 54 down, 66 to go. This bed here will fit about um, probably 46 or seven trees. I think I think it was 47 feet long. Yeah, that means I'm gonna have to dig, finish this other terrace too, and I'm beat. There's no way I'm gonna finish planting this this row tonight, so I'm not even gonna start. <clears throat> That's okay though. It's ready to go and. Um, I'll just have to plant it after this next rainstorm. So I gotta put this fence back up so the deer don't get in the garden. Do a bunch of other stuff before dark. And then I'm gonna go soak in hot water for a couple of hours. I am triumphant. Second row, 52 trees, only eight trees left to plant. And I have to finish the other terrace or work on the other terrace before I can plant them, but almost done. I spent like the last two days mostly pollinating apples. Um, I made tons of crosses, like way too many. Like there's gonna be a lot of seeds. <laughs> but I think I may just make that pretty much the last year. I, there'll probably be a few the next year that I want to do and then just chill for a while, let stuff start to fruit, and then eventually, like in a few years, think about uh, crossing some of the um, the seedlings, the offspring that I get with other stuff or back crossing them to each other, you know, whatever, something like that. I don't know, I just thought I'd like turn the camera on and just let it run while we sit and have coffee. Because we might say some fucking clever shit. <laughs> Thank you. I like this coat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, ugh. They got a good butt shot. <laughs> For the tiny owl? For the tiny cubs? Yes. No. To terraces. <laughs> Terracing. Terraces. Marvelous. I made a spoon out of this old. I imagine it was like old growth. It was just the lines. Growth rings are super fine, but. Yeah. It's like these dark streaks. You saw that like on a little spoon. And um... <laughs> you good? No? <laughs> Do you want it? Just give it. I've whittled a lot. I need fine, finer knife work and stuff, but now I'm really busting out the chisels and gouges. And, um, a lot of hatchet work for big projects. Sweet. My grandpa's I tools hatchet. too. Hatchet. Yeah. Yeah, I just have always been obsessed with honest old traditional skills like that yeah. we have an hour of power left okay let's um line that that out this okay. things here and start digging that i'll just deal with the rest of this stuff later second wind check <laughs> that off power <laughs> rangers <laughs> Ah. Or you could be like, what is it, Captain Planet? Yeah. We're powered to the moon. And it's not a caffeine. <laughs> you could do anything. Yeah. Yeah, steady. I don't know where they're from, but you know all these weird daffodils that people grow? They're all hybrids between different wild species like this. It's like a foundation. Yeah, and they're just further and further hybridized. Oh, Mo those are really cool. How do you even like... Mowgli's... Mowgli's favorite. I think it's called. Mowgli's favorite? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's like these ones and those ones. These ones are cool. Those ones are cool. Oh, wow. That's awesome. These ones are super psychedelic though. Yeah. It's like a Oh look at it pollen in there. It's some flower smelling flowers. That, cute. that smells like a like a 
Yeah, see, like that... Really like it smells like a flower in a coffee shop. So you see the, the similarity between those and um, this one. Yeah. See, this is a, a hybrid between this type and one of like something more like this. So it has the orange... Is that an oops one? Like, did it just happen? It still has... No, people do it on purpose. Okay. Yeah. I thought I didn't know if it was just like these ones were close together growing and that just like happened. No, they don't grow from seed naturally. Like they almost don't even make seed unless I pollinate them. Very yeah. rarely. I mean, occasionally they will, but it's just that the for whatever reason the bugs aren't interested enough to cross them. Really? Or, I don't know. Wow. You see bees in them once in a while, but what are the bees doing? We're just I'd be all in this. Daffodils are old. Old stuff. This is so cool. <laughs> Calling my mom. <laughs> I got you on film. <laughs> so these guys helped me dig um, terraces for the apple seedling project, for the apple breeding project today. They're awesome. We got flowers. And Devin got flowers. <laughs>